So last time we got a school of, where is my, okay, right here. It's a 258 out of a 300. Um, the test passed, uh, the test passed is first 19 test has passed, but uh, um, it failed on test, I believe uh, uh, 34 is because it's like a timeout. I, I do believe I, uh, I, I unlocked this test somehow. Uh, description, I think I unlocked it. I unlocked the, the test. Um, I think it's, it's, it, it failed 34. It's because it's a timeout. Um, the reason is because, uh, let me, a simple mouse locator. The reason is because, uh, so here we check, uh, we, we, we check if a sequence is an increasing sequence or not. And this one is if we remove one element of the sequence, if we'll get another increasing sequence. Okay, now the problem is um, we have an execution time limit of four seconds. And here I do believe I, I have downloaded the data. Okay, where it is. Let me find my file. No, not this one. Um, okay. Uh, no. Uh, here. Um, yep, right here. I do believe um, I download, I have downloaded the data and the data is in a JSON file. Okay, let me, let me clear. Uh, it's a, it's a JSON file, it's right here. Um, it's a test 35, oh, whoops. Uh, why there is no test 35 JSON? Okay, I do believe there is a JSON file here. Uh, yep, it's right here, but why it's not looking for JSON? Um, NumPy. Let me import NumPy. Did I import NumPy? Oh, let me restart the kernel, maybe. Hmm. All right. Let me run this cell. Okay, good. Now it's good. Um, so S is our data. S is our data right here. Okay, we load this sequence as data. Uh, let's just uh, name this in, uh, in order to avoid confusion. So let's name S problematic equals uh, S, okay. Um, first we check uh, its shape. Oh, list has no shape. Let, let's do a length. Uh, yeah, let, let's first convert it to a uh, array first. Um, what's happening is, let me magnify a bit. What's happening is I do believe the reason it's getting time out is because uh, this array is too big. If we check its shape, it's like a 10,000. Um, like uh, I checked the first, I checked the first 100 entries. This is, this is like a from negative 
This is from negative 10,000. And if we check the last, if we check the last 100 entries, we see this is, this is like a, um, two 10,000. But however, there, <laughs> so these are these uh, numbers, one, four, three, two inserted in this array. So that if our, um, if our program rounds in the sequential fashion, like check the element one by one, uh, we'll have a timeout is because, um, is because the code is kind of inefficient. Okay. Um, so this is the reason we got execution time limited on test 35. And, uh, um, but I do believe it's kind of, it's kind of very fast, at least on my local computer. Let me, let me check this list comprehension. So, uh, let me import more things. Okay, import uh, time. All right. And uh, uh, let's check how fast this list comprehension is wrong. So let's do uh, t equals time. I don't know if it's time time is a time. Let me check. Oh, oh, come on. Okay, let me import this first. I think the time is, uh, this is time. Okay, yeah, it's indeed time. Um, this is time, this is a current time converted to a floating point fashion. We run this again, we'll get like uh, several, as we can see like uh, 11 second has elapsed. Okay, let's do t equals time time. And uh, uh, time, time elapsed equals time time subtract t. And let's see, uh, then let's then print. Um, okay. Mm, he elapsed. Mm, seconds to run this loop. Oh, come on. Okay, we, it only takes zero, zero, point zero, zero, two seconds to run this list comprehension, even for a, uh, for an array that has 10,000 entry, I guess the problem is, uh, the problem is um, the second one. Okay, this is, this is like the first one. I think the problem is the second one. Okay, let's. Okay, I think this is, this is my code. Wait, this is not, this is a new function. And uh, uh, let me copy down the code right here. Okay, let, let's run this, uh, let's run this code. And so now we have defined two functions and let's use the new cell to test uh, almost increasing. So we copy, we just copy, uh, we just copy down this cell. Um, but uh, instead we, uh, we just do almost increasing sequence right here. So almost increasing sequence S uh, to run almost increasing sequence S. All right. Oh. Oh, it does, it does take a long time. So that, that, this is somehow problematic because uh, we loop through 
each entry of, uh, uh, okay, it, it does take more than seconds. Okay, now, now it makes sense for why our test fails. Um, wow. Okay, let, let me stop this. Uh, let me stop. Okay, let's check only like a, a, a thousand, first a thousand entries of S to give an idea of how long it takes to run, let's, let's say uh, one tenth of the array. What? For first tenth, uh, for first 1000, it takes only zero, zero, two seconds. But how about this one? Oh, but for first of 5,000, it takes a long time. Okay, I guess there are some fillers that, oh, shoot, I, I think, oh, that's why, because I didn't, I didn't do that. Okay, so uh, T equals time, time, uh, this is stupid. Okay, time, time, I forgot to uh, run this. Okay, let's do, let's test first. Oh, it's, okay, it's 0.8 seconds, which means if we run this, so 1000 array takes 0.8 seconds. So if we run this routine on a 10,000 long array, it's gonna take eight seconds because it's a for loop, it scales linearly. Um, okay, now let's review this a bit. I think last time I've kind of figured out the way of solving this question is not only we return, not only we return the, um, whether the sequence is increasing. So we modify, we modify this function to be, uh, we modify this function to be not only a return, we use a new list comprehension here. Okay. So this is, this is like a, this is like a list comprehension. So let me explain in the more plain language. For example, if it's I for I in range five this this is gonna this is gonna give me a list uh, of from zero to four okay however um, if I only want to get for example this is list comprehension for five but now let's say we, we only want to get uh, uh, all the odd numbers so for example we can use the quotient uh, wait, is this a quotient? Um, so if it's not the, all the odd number means I quotient two, I get a non-zero number, which, so I'll get all the odd numbers. Okay. I can add an if in this uh, range. Okay. Um, which means I wanna, if I wanna get the index of, of I, so um, let, me, let me check the temp. So let me copy this code and let's run the cell for S. Um, so we'll get something like that. This is all the position that this sequence is not increasing. Okay. So as we can see, this is uh, this is uh, uh, the previous entry is greater than or equal to greater than or equal to the next entry. 
so this line of code, what this line of code does is it outputs all the positions, all the positions where this sequence is not increasing. Okay. This this is like I and D. Let me let me put I and D here. Um, if a sequence is increasing, for example, let's do uh, let's do S temp equals uh, a list I for I in range ten thousand. Okay, so this is of course increasing. And let's copy this code. Um, let's change this to S temp. We'll find this is an empty list, list, right? So if we do this is like index equal this, then the length of index is zero. Okay, this is strictly increasing, which means, uh, if I return, so if I return, if I return not len index, I'll get true, which is an increasing sequence. Okay. So now this is an increasing sequence. Uh, but I also want to return. So now I'm return a tuple. Uh, for the increasing sequence, let me let me run this block of code first, if I apply the increasing sequence on S, okay, not only I get, uh, it's not an increasing sequence, but I also get the number of entries, okay. So the number of entries uh, that makes the sequence non-increasing. And almost increasing sequence challenge right here. It says you should remove no more than one element, which means if we have more than one element, which means uh, if we have more than more than one element in the sequence, we don't even have to check. I, I think the the problematic here is uh, uh, we we do check it even for more than one like elements, which means we shouldn't do that. Uh, okay. So, all right. Let me let me copy this and comment out. Uh, and comment out the original one. I think what we should do is first we check uh, if it's an uh, increasing sequence. For example, let's do something like this. So first we check uh, uh, is increasing, okay, equals equals increasing sequence s okay and let me check if because we have two output here uh if i use this i would do believe it's only using the first output but let me make sure this is correct uh is increasing okay oh it's a tuple which means uh, uh i gotta do something like this okay um all right so is increasing then it's it's false okay so if true so if it's true we can already return true so if is increasing is true uh we can already uh return return true all right if it's a false so right right here is if it's true we already return if if it's not we we begin to remove entries okay so else um 
but we we cannot but we we don't have to l if um oh we do need temp so here is number of uh number of uh um let's say number of bad entries number of decreasing entries okay number decreasing number decrease wait is is this how we spell decrease i forgot how to spell decrease define decrease oh it's uh okay it's yeah okay so number decrease uh it's some something like that um mm, if it is increasing uh we return true l if we have more than more than uh one entries more than one entries we don't even have to check whether uh, we can remove because if we have more than one entry that's not decreasing we have to remove two or more otherwise so if this is so if the length if the length of this is greater than or equal to two if, if it's greater than one so it's faster we return false okay now l if is the length of uh, is one okay now we do the check which is uh we do this so um for we remove um the entry so if it's there is one it should be a list okay um if it's one okay i think this is index decrease right this should be increase uh this should be in, in index decrease not a number of decrease okay so it's index decrease uh the index of decrease is a one we remove um we remove uh the index decreasing that element okay um this is like s temp we remove the index of uh, decreasing and then we check we check uh uh we check we check if it's an increasing sequence so we return increasing sequence as temp if it's an increasing sequence then this sequence is almost increasing sequence so this this is our algorithm first we check the sequence s in this function uh if it's increasing uh and if it's not uh oh wait we we should uh we should check oh yeah yeah, yeah. so if it's if it's increasing this list is empty and this is true we return true um if this one is greater than if the length of the index of uh, decreasing i should i should name this decreasing yeah okay so if it's if the index decreasing uh we have more than one entries that are decreasing we should not even bother to check more we just return false this cannot be an almost increasing if if the decreasing if there is only one entry we check uh i think there is one problematic is one two one two i have earlier let me run this out first um first let's check uh almost increasing sequence one two one two. Oh, there's a bug 
Okay, slicing index. Huh. Okay, let me check uh, uh, where I got wrong. First, let's check. Uh, okay. First check, let's check this. All right. So S, what's S? I think S is, uh, Oh yeah, S is this one, right? So is increasing, of course it's not, it's false. And index decreasing is, uh, is this one, okay. So the lengths, okay, length of index. So how about S equals one, two, one, two? So this one, I believe it's fine. S equals one, two, one, two. And let's uh, let's run this line again. What is increasing? It's false, of course. It's false, and this decreasing is one. What? <laughs> we only have one. Uh, one two one two should be two, right? So, uh, oh, it's one. It's indeed one. We only have one. Oh, we do have to check. Okay, we do have to check uh, that. That's interesting. Okay. So uh, if length of this is one, I think this this where I'm going wrong is we just have to let index decreasing equals this guy, the first entry. And now it should be good. Now let's try this again. Oh, it, it outputs, wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. So, um, Okay, um, is increasing, yeah, I should do this, equal that. And uh, let's return this. And now let's check this again. Yes, false, okay. So this is a problematic and let's, uh, let's see if it's, uh, now if, let me load the problematic data again. So it's in this cell. So we run this cell and let's print if S is indeed print. Uh, len S length of S is Len S, okay. Oh, okay, length of S is indeed, okay. So we load the problematic and now we run this uh, routine again. Let's see how, how, how many seconds we have. Oh, okay, this is good, this is good. It only takes about, it only takes about uh, 0.33, a point zero zero three to uh, run this loop, okay. Now we just copy paste our solution to uh, here. All right, and so run test. Oh no, test passed, test 19, really? Why test 19 is, uh, is bad? False. Why it's false? Okay, one, two, three, four, three, six. It has, uh, it has how many? Non-increasing. 
it has a uh, one uh, non-increasing, right? Wait, so it has a uh, uh, three six is increasing. It has one non-increasing. Oh, we can remove three to get that one. But I only removed this one to try. So uh, I, I should try both. Now I got it. Okay, the prop, this is another problematic. So what I should try is, uh, uh, so let me, let me rename this index one. And this should be index one, index one. And this is S1. Uh, increasing. Okay. And the S2 is uh, S. Zero to index one plus one plus S index one plus two. And is increasing. Let's do uh, this is uh, is increasing one is S one and increasing two is S two. So we return is increasing one or is increasing two. Okay, now let's try it. And the problematic, the problematic uh, series is uh, one, two, three, four, three, six. Okay. So S equal that. And uh, almost increasing sequence S. It's true. Okay, now it's good. All right. Now let's copy this back here. Run test. Yes, <laughs> test passed, 38 out of 38. Oh man, it takes me like two and two hours and 30 minutes to uh, fully solve this problem. Okay, so there are several, pro uh, to summarize, there are several problematic aspect. Well, the first one is you don't wanna check um, whether it's increasing or not for e by removing every entry and so we submit. All right, so what's happening is, um, <laughs> something this many minutes, really? I thought I, okay, it counts, I guess it counts like in active time. Okay, continue. Um, okay, I'm here. Matrix element sum. Oh, this one is easy. If it's summing up, up to become famous, the code bots decide to move a new building. Each of the rooms has a different cost and some of them are free, but there is a rumor a haunted. Give a matrix, a rectangular matrix of integers where each value represents the cost of the room. So your task is to return the total sum of all rooms that are suitable for code bots, i.e. add up all the values that don't appear below a zero. Um, if it's below zero, but the matrix IJ is, uh, I mean, it's one, one, one. It's nine, why? Oh, it doesn't appear below a ghost. So uh, 
This one is below a zero. This one is below a zero. This column is below a zero. Oh, this this is a this is an interesting question. Okay. So essentially, for example, for this one, because this entry is zero, this entry is zero, this entry is zero, we cannot sum the entry that's below it. For example, this one is gone, this one is gone, this one is gone. And uh, uh, again, you have four seconds execution limit. And the matrix length is less than or of out. Oh, it's less than or of five. Then this is good. Uh, we we can simply we can simply write a for loop now. Uh, so matrix is like a list of list, and what we can do is uh, let me demonstrate. Um, so let me start a new file, and let me rename this file to be oh two. All right, so let's import again. Uh, let me still use uh, uh, the cell mode. So uh, let's import numpy as mp. Um, and matrix, let me use mat one. Uh, let me copy the, um, let me copy this one. Hmm. So, for example, for this one, this should be uh, so two cannot be uh, summed up. We can sum up one, one plus five plus one plus two, so we'll get nine. And uh, uh, for example, if we do this, uh, for first of all, math has a length as well. So if we if we do length the math one, we'll get four. This is like uh, the number of uh, the rows right here. So we have three row, we'll get a uh, three. Okay, yep. So this is the number of rows. And if we wanna get a number of columns, but I always wanna use NumPy for this. I don't know if we are allowed to use NumPy. Okay, let's, let's use NumPy. Let's do uh, math one equals numpy array <laughs> math one. Okay, so for i in range math one shape one, um, which is a number of columns. This is a number of columns. We have four columns. Actually, it's uh, it's easier if we do this column wise. So then we only sum up we only so we sum so we, we first we start sum oh wait we cannot I cannot use that so we use mat sum or sum mat sum mat equals uh zero okay and uh, we do this we we uh, in another loop so we for j um in range mat one shape zero okay um if we have to have an indicator Um, so if we have a zero, we break the loop and, uh, uh, so if we have a, if we have a, if we have, uh, a zero, we continue basically it's math one, um, 
IJ. So I throw J's column. Um, okay. So for example, mat one, zero, zero will get us the first entry. And uh, so if mat one IJ is zero, is if, if mat one IJ is not, uh, is zero, we continue. Okay. Else if it's not a zero, else if it's not zero, uh, what we do is S plus some mat uh, plus this entry, mat IJ. Okay. And let's try, uh, let's print some mat, let's, uh, let's do a debugging, this type of effort. So this is, uh, we print, um, IJ then tree checking, okay, checking, IJ entry. And uh, let's print, let's print some mat. Uh, some is some mat. Oh, it's something is wrong. Index three is out of bounds for uh, access zero is size three. Oh wait, J is column, right? Mat one. Yeah, this is mat one. Uh, we have a uh, uh, index three. Oh, I is, okay. I is, uh, I should be row and J is, uh, J is column. Okay. Oh wait, <laughs> we get 17. Okay, this is wrong. Uh, if it's continue, we should, uh, uh, so checking zero, zero, then tree. Checking zero, one, then tree. Uh, oh, we should use break. Now break is break into, uh, let's Google, uh, um, uh, break from in the loop Python. So we continue, we still are in this loop. That, that's, uh, that, that's problematic. Okay. So for example, if this break deeper loops, uh, if in the loop does not break, so we break, uh, we break, else continue, okay. Uh, wait. Uh, only executive in the loop did not break. We want to break in the loop. So uh, we got to do break here. Let's do, so, um, so we got to do something like else continue. Huh. What's happening? 
I think we should use continue here. Con uh, but we only want to break out um, only one nested loop. Okay. Apply to the innermost. Um, let's see if. So we continue to the next iteration in outer loop. Okay, if something continue to loop i, if something, oh, this is clever. <laughs> but uh, this is not what I want. Okay, so for range block, if something break, else uh, if something break else so if something break let me try to do this 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 line is not wrong checking zero century Break will break in a loop and block one won't be executed. So JJ block if something break. Okay, in the inner loop, uh, checking zero, zero entry. So we print, what's math one? Let's print math one. Checking zero zero entry. Okay, let let let's uh, let me add one so it's more natural. Okay, uh, one one is here. Uh, checking two one, uh huh, and checking three one. Uh, I think I should. It's already it's already break right. Second row, so uh, this is row, uh, I should check column, my bad, my bad, my bad. This is one, the inner, the inner loop should be row and this should be J plus one. J is now row and I plus one is that. Um, I think this is J is row and that, okay. Now let's see. Okay. Why I'm getting no sum math here. It's still zero. We check its break. I should use continue. How about now? Index three O, oh, it's uh, J I. Oh, again, it's getting 17. I should do, uh, I should do break. Okay. And else I should do this. Oh, it's, this is not wrong. So uh, I'm checking two fourth entry. Um, How about this? Okay, now it's good. Uh, all right, now it's good. Now we just have to copy, okay. Um, so I don't know if it's NumPy, if NumPy is not allowed, let's not do NumPy. Uh, this is a column. So it should be the length of uh, mat one, zero. And this is just uh, the length of uh, uh, mat one. So if mat, if, uh, if uh, uh, NumPy is not allowed, we should do that. And now uh, it's the jth 
uh, jth row, ith column, okay, and we change it to this way. Okay, now it's good. Now let's copy this, uh, whoops, let's copy this. Uh, this is not too bad, it's, it's actually much easier than the previous um, challenge. We only need to figure out how do we uh, break through the inner loop. So for example, we just copy here, okay. Uh, let me do the correct indentation. Uh, let me change this to mat instead of a matrix one. Matrix, okay. Uh, we don't have to, we don't have to print this anymore. Uh, we don't have to print this anymore. We just need to return the sum mat. Okay, let's run the test. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Local variable, or oh, before assignment, of course. We have to set it to be zero first, and let's run the test. Okay, submit. Passed. Because it's small, so uh, this is not too bad. Okay, let's continue. Edge of the ocean, new level. Okay, Sooth, uh, smooth sailing. Okay, next one. Now let's read the problem. It says, uh, uh, this is all longest strings. What does that mean? Given an array of strings, return another array containing all of its longest strings. Okay, this one is A, B, A, 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 D, V, C, D, A, B, A. So, oh, wow, this is, this is not too bad. This is not too bad. This is not too bad. This is like, uh, this is simple. So uh, the I index should equals, uh, index i for um, i, okay, so length, yeah, it's easier to use numpy, I think. All right, so we return the uh, length of the strings. So a string is like uh, something like, for example, so s equals a, b, a, and the length of s is three, okay. Um, so basically what happens is we return something. So the string length, okay. So str length equals i, whoops, i for length i, uh, length s for s in input array, okay. So this is like string length. And we find the maximum one, okay? Uh, we find the maximum one. So here it's uh, easier to use NumPy. It's like argmax. So we import NumPy as MP. And uh, uh, so for example, we find argmax. So MP argmax. For example, here is a one Let's say 100, uh, 0, 100, 2, we'll get 2. Yeah, it's, this is like index. Uh, if uh, it has a 2, it gives us, oh wait, now this is in trouble. So this is buggy. Uh, MP argmax. Um, input array access and norm by default, it only returns the, the first one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I should not use our math. I, I should just use max. Okay. So, uh, and, and then we do a mask, I think then this should be good. So what happens is this, 
then uh, we do we do index of the max is uh, uh, is string length is equal to max of string length. Um, this will get us uh, some some like index, and then we put in input array so. Uh, uh, array arr equals numpy array uh, input array and this is just we just return like uh, arr temp equals arr the string length equals max string length. this is like a mask for the true value and then we just to list for example if we want to do numpy array if we want to convert to a list we just do for example uh, numpy array uh, one two two so then we'll get a list so the last we just apply a list to it and now return arr temp list arr temp Now this should be good. Let's run the test. Oh, whoops. Really? Okay. All right, let's try. So input array, all longest strings. And let's uh, without encapsulating, let's do uh, something like uh, so ARR equals um, right here, it's uh, something like that. Okay, let's do ARR. Uh, input array is not defined. Oh, my bad. Um, Uh, return outside. Oh, we shouldn't do return. We just we just see what happens. So uh, ARR is is that okay? Um, how about string length? Okay, string length is that. Then uh, string length equal equal max string length. What happened? max string length equal three, okay. So if it equals max string length, oh, we should do, uh, we should do uh, like a repetition type of thing. Okay. So uh, we just multiply MP once. Um, We just do a mask and length of S uh, ARR times. Okay. So uh, array temp. Yep. Now it should be good. Uh, list ARR temp. Okay. There we go. We, we, we only have to change one line of code. So this is good. Um, we just change here. All right, let's run some test. All right, so let's submit. Yeah, this one is not too bad. I mean, the almost increasing sequence is hard because it has a 10,000 array. Okay, so next time we'll try to continue to solve these problems and uh, that's it for today.